Hi, it's Phil from TeachBlend, and in this video, we're going to look at Kahoot's new feature, which allows students to use just one single device, either in remote lessons or in the classroom. So this is useful, for example, if you're using Microsoft Teams and the student has joined using a phone to the meeting, before with Kahoot you wouldn't be able to really interact because you would have to have the second screen to see the questions. Now what can happen is the student can see the questions and the responses all on one single device. This is also really useful for in-classroom sessions. For example, if a student can't see the board or your board is not working, what you can do is you can still run the Kahoot and the questions will come up as well as the answers so students can interact just on that one device. I hope you find this video useful, and if you do, please remember to like and subscribe to TeachBlend. It really does help. Cheers. I'm on the Kahoot website and I'm going to click play and I'm going to choose the teach option. So let's imagine that we've got our students in class on the whiteboard and we want to do a regular Kahoot, but they may be too far away from the screen, for example, they can't see it. So what you can do now is choose the show question and answers on the player's device and then you can start the Kahoot as usual. So just choose classic. What this will do is it will now allow students to join. So here you can see I'm on my phone and you can use the app or uh, the website either one works and just enter the pin and nickname as usual as a student so once the student is then in and all your students are in you can start the Kahoot as usual you can see here I've just joined so now I've started the Kahoot as usual and this will play and it will still display on your screen if you want it to you can obviously minimize it if you didn't want to display it and you'll see the questions come up now Look at the student device now, it looks a lot different. Because we've chose show question and the answers, what you can do is see the question at the top and then the selections. So the student is able to integrate just using that one single device rather than having two. Let's have a look now at how this might also work on a Microsoft Teams meeting. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go ahead on Microsoft Teams, we're gonna click the plus button and we're gonna choose Add Kahoot, just as usual. This is how the I find the best way of running Kahoot through a live session. Um, and the problem with Kahoot on Teams was you always needed two devices. The students needed to see the Teams window and they also needed to see Kahoot. So here now I'm gonna choose Share as usual to start sharing my Kahoot. Um, but the issue was again that students even needed to split screen. Um, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna play my Kahoot in my online lesson. But now what we're gonna do is we're gonna set this up so that the students can join using just their one device. So imagine they're on this online team session. What you would do is you would set this up um, so I'm just going to choose show question and answers on player's device and then choose classic. And then what I'm going to do is ask my students to join this now. So they can, if they've got the one device, they would just open up the app, put the pin in, and then they can join the Kahoot and participate in the questions and the Kahoot quiz. And then once it's ended, they can join back to the Teams meeting. I hope you found this video useful, and if you do, please remember to like and subscribe to TeachBlend, it really does help.